Welcome to Trustee Talk. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dick Murgatroyd, and our guest today is Anderson Township Trustee Kevin O'Brien. Kevin, we've got a pretty full show today. We're going to talk about quite a few uh, things that are going to be happening during the months of October, November, and December, which right. this is a busy place. It's a busy time of year for us, It too. really is. I yeah. mean, that's, that's, uh, that's great, though. That says a lot for the area. Absolutely. No, I'm excited to talk about it. It'll be fun. And also, we're going to talk about a little bit about sidewalks and Anderson Trails. Yes. Uh, the financial health and summary of the annual spending of the township. I'll try to keep that short. So which is uh, which is good news, though. It's very good news. I mean, which is unusual in this day and age. Yeah, I'll be glad to I'll be, I'll be brief about that, <laughs> but it's very good news. It's yes. good news. Yeah. And, um, of course, uh, the fact that Tree City USA for four straight years, which uh, congratulations on that. Well, Anderson's known for its trees, and it's that so we're excited about that also well and then finally the sheriff's department's annual business night number system so you've got a lot to uh to um, to tell us about let's get get started wonderful thanks dick i um, want to talk about some upcoming events here in october uh, the cincinnati opera here at the anderson center is going to have a production let's cook up an opera and that's saturday october the 5th 7 p.m cost is very reasonable five dollars and if you can if you need tickets um Tickets should be available um, after September 2nd. Well, that, you know, obviously after this program airs. Uh, 241-2742. Um, also in October, the uh, Park District will have their annual Trunk and Treat Classic Car Show, and this will be at the Beach Acres Park. They've done this quite a few years in a row. That's on Salem Road, and that goes on Saturday, October the 12th, from about 2.30 to 6 p.m. Um, the car show is free. And then the trunk and treat goes from about 3.30 to 5.30. And that there is a slight cost to that, about $2 per child. Um, and uh, the tickets are there at the event. And they encourage kids 12 and under to attend. So any uh, interest in that need more information, go to andersonparks.com or 388-4513. Um, the Salem Business District on Salem Road is having their um, Harvest Fest. And that will be at uh, the Salem Community Church there on Salem Road 6137. And that's real close to Sutton Road. That will be on Saturday, October the 19th from 3 to 7 p.m. Uh, admission is free. And that's at the community, Salem Community Church there, uh, 232-1188. Uh, Beachmont Players has a production called November but it's in October. <laughs> so uh, that'll be on Friday and Saturday, October the 18th and 19th, about 8 p.m. Uh, the next day, Sunday at 3, and then the following weekend um, at 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and then, uh, and then um, um, I guess, Sunday again at 3 o'clock. Uh, tickets are $15. Uh, students, seniors, and active militaries, $13. And again, that's through beachmontplayers.org or 233-2468. A uh, Great American Cleanup um, will be held at the Anderson Center, Center Station. That's the uh, where the park and ride is there behind uh, Kmart um, here on Five Mile Road. That'll be on Saturday, October the 26th, um, 8.30 till about noon. If you have any questions, call Allison Hodson here at the Township, 688-8400, or you can go to the website, andersontownship.org. Uh, National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, that's on Saturday, October the 26th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That way you can, you can safely dispose of all your unneeded prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs. Uh, bring them here to the um, Anderson Center. Uh, no aerosols or liquids, please, but um, you, if you've got some drugs that are laying around the house that maybe you That's don't want program. kids or grandkids to get sure. involved with, yeah. um, bring, that, bring those in on Saturday, the October 26th, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, Dave Boyman, um, uh, Sheriff's Deputy here, uh, 688-8400. Uh, the Jack Lantern Walk on um, uh, Saturday before Halloween on the 26th of October from 7 to 9 p.m. Admission to that is free. Uh, Dick, uh, children are encouraged to wear their costumes. If you've never been to this, it's kind of fun. Oh yeah, that sounds like fun. It's it right does. out, right out here in the building along the along the lake. Um, the uh, Molly Moorefield here with the township. She really does a nice job setting it up. They've got the, uh, the Jack Lit -lit lanterns up, the, you know, lid pumpkins up there. Um, and the kids, they can come during the daylight in their costumes, and then as the light call goes down, they see what all the lit pumpkins and stuff. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's, yeah. It's really yeah. kind of fun. Okay. Um, the uh, Nikon Users Group, there will be a photo exhibit here uh, at the end of the month and on into November from October 28th to November 12th um, here at the Anderson Center. That is free. And um, uh, Al Peter is going to be help coordinating that. His phone number is 560 7093 and I've been I've seen that 
display before. That's wonderful. Now, what, I mean, what who who participates in that? Is anybody that wants to be able to uh, put a photo or something in it? Well, I think if I recall, and, and Al would be able to answer more questions about that, um, but if I recall, he has a group and they, they do take pictures. Now, if you want to submit some of your pictures, you might want to check with him first. Oh, okay. Um, but some of the pictures, they'll have hundreds of pictures in the lower level of, of the building here, and they're just they're just fabulous from, you know, maybe local pictures or from, from other other locations. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. And it's just on display. You just walk around, take a look at them, and, but it's very interesting. So. Sounds like it. Yeah. Um, there's a matinee musical on uh, Wednesday, October the 30th, 11 a.m., uh, soprano uh, Kara Shea Thompson. Um, in, uh, she's with, um, uh, again, the tickets here would be $15. Students are very reasonable, $3. You need more information on that, uh, 469-9819. Okay, that's it for October. We've got a couple things that's a here. It's a busy month. It is. Isn't wow, it? yeah, that's a busy, busy and, month. And I didn't even get into, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the, um, the thing on Saturday with the, excuse me, um, with the farmer's market. So oh, yeah. That, that's every Saturday at the farmer's How market. How long does that run? Uh, uh, that'll go <clears> until, um, until November the 23rd. Oh, does it go that long? Yeah. yeah. And last year they actually brought it inside. Well, did they? Yeah, uh, it's a great farmers market. Yeah, it, it really is. is. I mean, it's, it's a good one. Absolutely. Yeah. They, and they they'll they'll do all kinds of promotions with fall soups and they've done in the past and and they had a pie contest one year. I mean, there it's you should really you should go. There's something new every Saturday. So they don't. Uh, I know I did it when I was doing Anderson Speaks. We had one of the uh, some of the folks on from the farmers market and and I know that uh, don't they actually prepare. Uh, foods at the markets <clears throat> or have a, a kind of a recipe area where so where they do recipes using some of the yes some of the vendors will do that yeah yeah um along with having fresh fruits and produce and and then other um crafts so um um you know there's there's a couple dozen vendors that are set up out here and there's plenty of parking and uh, again i would encourage people to it's stop a really by. nice market good yeah i'm glad yeah. you think so yeah i, think so. I really yeah I, it's a nice one okay well, good. Um, and, well, I want to kind of get into November a little bit here. Uh, just as a reminder, Election Day is Tuesday, November the 5th. Uh, polls open at 6.30 a.m., close at 7.30 p.m. And, uh, you know, I encourage everyone to vote. If you need to, uh, you know, register to vote, change your address, check out where your polling location is, or get an absentee ballot, uh, you can go to the Board of Elections. That's uh, 632-7000 or hamilton-co.org backslash BEO, so a little <laughs> difficult there, but don't forget to vote. Yeah, well, because <clears throat> especially if people have changed their address or if they move, they need to uh, need to make that information available. How far ahead? Well, the, uh, ideally about 30 days. Is it? Uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say it's probably about a 30-day window there they've got right. in um, order to be able to vote. But there, there have been some changes in polling places the last couple of years, so they've eliminated some polling places here in Ohio. So... Um, in Anderson, so you want to be sure that you know where, where to vote if you want to. Now, they can find that out by calling that number? Uh, calling the number or going on the website, okay. uh, type in your address, and it'll tell you where to go. Oh, okay, to vote. good, good. Okay. Important, very yeah. important. Thank you. Yeah, very much so. Um, uh, Veterans Day is coming up in November also. There will be a ceremony here at the center on uh, Monday, November the 11th, 5 p.m. Uh, veterans and three guests are invited for a free dinner. Uh, this is a ticketed event and seats are limited. So you want to check with um, Vicki Earhart here or someone else here at the township, 688-8400. Um, the next event coming up here in November uh, 10th on a Sunday, this is an annual thing. I believe this is the third or perhaps the fourth one. It's the Pizza Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It, it's great. Um, um, Eric Miller with the Anderson Chamber of Commerce invites uh, people that uh, have pizzerias here in the township. Um, they can bring their wares to the to the center here. We use the large conference rooms. Uh, we turn on um, the cable and we can watch football. And uh, for five bucks, you can eat all the pizza you want. Wow, bargain! It, it's it, it's good. Well, I mean, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I like that idea. I may take you take you up on that. Yeah, there's like six or eight different uh, pizzerias that come in and. Uh, you know, get some soda and get some water and watch football and hang around with the kids and can't eat pizza. go wrong with that. And the price is right. Uh, Five dollars for adults and two dollars for children. Children under ten. So, uh, good one. Yeah, and there's three big screens to watch football there. So, uh, Madcap Puppets uh, will be in uh, Beach Acres in the uh, 
uh, Rexplex Gym on Wednesday, November the 13th. Uh, that's $4 per child. Again, you want to check with Anderson, uh, with the Park District on that. Um, we want to skip over here. Uh, 41st annual Thanksgiving Day breakfast will be held on Wednesday, November the 27th. That's the um, uh, day before Thanksgiving, and that'll be held at the Anderson Hills United Methodist Church. That's where they've held the event for many years. And um, cost is $15. Uh, starts at 7.30 in the morning, goes till 9. Uh, they will have an inspirational speaker. Dick, if you've never been to that, I'd encourage you to come. Uh, yeah, I have not been, had a chance to go to that, but I, I, I've talked to people that have gone, and they said it's a really nice event, and, and uh, they've been doing it for a long time. Uh, yep. Yeah. 41 years, and um, wow. again, I don't know that they've announced who the inspirational speaker will be, but it's, it's very touching and, and really kind of gets you in the mood for the holidays, right, with that day before Thanksgiving. They'll be here before we know it. it it's coming. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming fast. <laughs> uh, kind of looking ahead a little bit, Barabi Productions, uh, La Miserales, is um, on Thursday, Saturday, December the 5th, 6th, and 7th, uh, 7 p.m., and then Sunday the 8th at 2 p.m., and then the following weekend also. Uh, tickets are $12, and uh, any questions, you can give them a call, uh, 497-5000. Where do they do that? Where do they uh, hold that? Uh, it's here, here in the here center. Here in the center? In the yeah. center in the theater. And, um, again, a plug for the theater. It's a very nice theater. It is nice. Uh, 220 or so seats, uh, very comfortable. Um, the, the acoustics in the theater are wonderful. Yeah, they did a nice job putting that together because it really is a nice nice facility. Good. I'm glad. You, yeah, no, yeah, it is. And yeah. they're... Um, the, the people that come in that, that haven't, you know, the production people that have not seen the theater, just, just they mar you know, they're, they're very pleased with the facilities oh, in the gosh, back. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Um, kind of looking on into December a little bit, the annual tree lighting uh, will be held um, at the Anderson Center Station. Again, that's by the Park and, uh, Park, Anderson Town Center um, there at the, you know, the old Beachmont Mall. Uh, Santa will be arriving. Um, that'll be between 4 and 6 p.m. Any questions? Uh, you can give Steve Seavers a call, 688-8400, or better yet, go to the Anderson Town Center um, website at atcstores.net. Okay. Uh, there is a Big Easy Christmas charity event coming up on Saturday the 21st, uh, 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Uh, tickets are $10 uh, for the matinee and $20 for the evening. Um, I'm not quite sure what this event is, but uh, if you need some more information, it's 937 Five one five six six two nine, and another kind of an event coming up here, uh, kind of a staple for our community. Dick is the Anderson Community Band, and that'll be held here at the center. Um, it's made up of, of residents, and it's quite a fun thing actually. I understand it is. I think I interviewed someone that uh, on Anderson Speaks that was a part of that band or part of that group. But uh, that's a pretty. That's pretty neat undertaking because that's all volunteer, if, if I understand it correctly. It, that's my understanding yeah. also. And uh, the best part about it, it's going to be on Sunday, December the 22nd, um, 7 p.m., a couple days before Christmas. Kind of gets you in the holiday spirit if you're not there already. And uh, it's free. That even makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> it makes By it better. By that time, you spent all your money <laughs> right. on Christmas. You Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe you need a little something. <laughs> you to... need a little something just to perk you up. You don't have to pay for it. Yeah, that's right. But I, and I understand they're very, very good. They are. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's terrific. Uh, any, you need some more questions, or if you have any questions, go to their website, andersoncommunityband.org, or you can call Margaret at 207-8506. I um, do want to talk about a couple of the ongoing events. We talked briefly earlier about the Anderson's Farmer Market at the Anderson Center Station. Again, that's there at the Park and Ride behind the Kmart store there. Um, they're, uh, uh, they're going to be starting, um, uh, you know, it's already started and, uh, you know, kind of goes every Saturday from about 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Nancy Downs here with the township <coughs> kind of handles that. And again, she's at 688-8400. Or you can, again, they, they have their own website. Um, AndersonFarmersMarket.org. So uh, that, that's an ongoing event. And then another ongoing event I like to highlight is the Anderson Township History Room. Uh, that's seen more and more people come through and visit it. it um, it's here in the center in the lower level. Uh, they do have very limited hours um, on Tuesdays from 6 to 9 p.m., Wednesdays and Sundays from 1 to 4. Um, I do want to point out, though, if you have a group, like say a scout group or a school group, and you'd like to go through the history room, Give us a call here at the center, and we'll make arrangements to uh, to, to help you know to facilitate your group. Oh, that's good. So they could they could set up a schedule or a specific schedule just for that 
mm -hmm. with that particular group. Right. We see a lot of scout troops um, come through, and you know they'll bring the scouts through, and they'll mm -hmm. um, someone from the historical society will be there to kind of kind of walk them through and tell them about the room, and um, and then that's a good easy way to get a merit badge too. Hey. And, it, and that plus again, they, they, they do. They've done a nice job with that history room. Oh, it's it's there. There's there's so much history. Just it's it's not a very large room, but you can spend an hour in there oh, easy. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Easy. So yeah, they do a good job. I would encourage people <clears throat> to kind of, if you haven't seen that, I would encourage people to at least stop by and take a look at it. Well, that is. Uh, there's a lot going on. Isn't that you, great? You, you, uh, you and and you know what the time is. The, Time is going to go fast, and it's going to be January before we know it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So it, doesn't, it sounds like it's a long way away, but it's not really a long it, way away. It comes by pretty. It comes oh, around it pretty fast. Well, let me do this. Let me just remind everyone that you are watching Trusty Talk. We appreciate you joining us to, with uh, our guest Kevin O'Brien uh, from uh, our uh, trustee here at Anderson Township, right here on ACTV. Kevin, uh, we've got some other things to talk about beginning with uh, some uh, kind of updates on some of the progress that's uh, here in uh, Anderson. Yeah, we, uh, you know, one of the things we're proud of here in Anderson is our sidewalks and our Anderson trail system. Um, you know, it seems like when the township was built out, you know, decades ago, um, some communities have sidewalks, some don't. Um, obviously, you know, some of our major thoroughfares are county roads and, uh, and they don't have sidewalks. Uh, but with, you know, the number of, of folks that we have living in single family homes and communities. You know, we, you know, we, we years ago, we, we came up with a program to fund the building of these sidewalks through some uh, tax, you know, local money, but then also we were able to get grants from various sources too, and that helps build our sidewalks out too. But we, we've done quite a bit in the last few years here to get some major connecting sidewalks to some of our communities. Um, one of them was the Asbury Road spine from um, Beachmont heading south on Asbury Road, and that connected about five or six hundred homes. Uh, that that was a major uh, a major goal for us. Um, there's also the Ohio River Trails portion, and that's the part that's going to be connecting up actually, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things with the Loveland Bike Trail, and even um, a few years down the road, the plans are to connect it so you can go through Lunkin Airport and on into Greater Cincinnati. Well, so, that, and you know that I, you know people I think are walking more. Mm -hmm. These days, I think young people especially love to walk, and, and uh, but I think everybody likes to walk. And I think when they've got safe, safe trails that they can walk on or sidewalks, and that it encourages them to get out even more. I think that's uh, that makes a lot of sense. Right. And that Loveland Trail is amazing. <laughs> that bike trail is is uh, that's pretty amazing. Wow. Well, I yeah. mean, it really is. But because I think that the whole idea, and, and I was involved in a little bit of it when I was with. Um, uh, OKI, but um, because they are really trying to connect the whole greater area together so that people can walk and bike for quite a distance uh, throughout the area. Mm -hmm. And they keep adding more and more. So I think that's, uh, and you all have done a great job over here. Well, we're, we're trying to do our part. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, when the scheme, everybody's kind of familiar with the Loveland Bike Trail, but we've got some. Um, some project that we're focused on here in Anderson too, like um, for instance, the Wolf Angle Road yeah. part. That's that we just uh, the township uh, board of trustees just approved some funding for that, and uh, work's already kind of begun on that. So that'll go from Beachmont along Wolf Angle uh, towards uh, north towards State, and that'll connect to many many hundreds of homes there too. So people can can walk safely from their homes to um, uh, up to Beachmont, maybe up to the new town center. Will yeah. that be done this year? No, that that it's That's going to take early stages. Yeah, early <clears throat> stages. We're probably looking at. Um, I'm not even sure it'll be finished in 14, but um, it's it is coming. It's on its way, and um, it'll present a very safe way for people to walk because you can't, uh, Dick. You can't safely walk along Wolf Angle Road. No, there's, there's portions no. of it now. There, no, and, and that's there. that's what's so great about the being able to put those those uh, walks in because, I mean, really, people you don't want people walking in the roads. Um, at all, and, and uh, this this way they can, right? You know, they can feel comfortable just going out and. Oh, absolutely! Because the speed limit I think is thirty five, but quite frankly, some people drive a little faster than that. So yeah, well, yeah, yeah. they do. So, so yeah. sidewalk is sidewalk will be welcome. It will be. Um, next thing I'd like to talk about is about the town, township's um, uh, financial condition. I'm uh, here to report we're in excellent financial condition. Congratulations! Thank you. 
Uh, by some measures, our financial health has actually improved the last three years or so. Um, for example, in, in April of 2010, a little over three years ago, uh, Moody's Investor Service, they're a leading provider of credit ratings, research, and risk analysis for, for real on a global basis. Uh, they recognized Anderson Township with the highest possible rating. That's a AAA rating. That's very good. Excellent. Excellent, yes. 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 And the townships, uh, uh, we, had a, we, we had a also, pr prior to that, we had an excellent rating also, but it was just a notch below double A1, but that's still, both are very, very good. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, you know, and, and that's in this day and age, because when, when you, you see what's happening, so many cities are, are really struggling to just try to make ends meet. Counties are facing some major financial uh, crisis and, and, and uh, and some of our big cities, and I mean, Detroit's the first one, but right. who knows what's going to be next. So you all need to be very proud of the, what you've accomplished, and, and, and you're still providing great services, and that's, that's the difference. Thank you. Yeah, you really, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's a top wonderful. priority for, for, the, for, the, for the board. It's a very well, top priority, and, and, all, and every, every employee of the township, that's a top priority. Well, and that's those, and you got to make tough decisions when you do that. Yes. But you've done a good job. Thank you. Yeah, thank really you. Really have. Um, you know, the, you know that's you know that rating of AAA. It's rare. It's difficult to achieve, and uh, and you know we're one of the very few in, in the Ohio that have received that. So, uh, um, you know, one way we we have done it is over the last few years we've looked at our spending. Um, again, as an example, um, over the last three years we've been able to cut spending by a little over six million dollars, or about seventeen percent. Um, you know, it's, for example, um, just. Raw numbers, I'll try to keep this brief, but our spending in 2009 was $36,811,000. And by the end of 2012, uh, three years later, we had reduced it to $30,467,000, or a little over six million bucks. So, um, you know, it's real savings, um, you know, real lower government spending of taxpayer dollars, and, um, you know, that's real smaller government. So. Um, you know that you have to make some tough decisions at times to do that kind of thing. Well, you do because uh, <clears throat> you know um, normally government grows. <laughs> I have noticed that. Yeah. And you know, and and you know, once it grows, it's hard to it's hard to, to start it down the other way. It, you know, once it's there, it, that's almost becomes you know embedded, and it just it just continues to to grow. So I I, I commend you that you've. You've managed to do that, and yet, like I said, your services are, are not, you, you know, you're still providing your services and, and their quality, uh, providing a quality of life in this, in this township that is, is, uh, is excellent. Well, it, again, it's a, it's a strong focus for the board and, and every employee of the township. Well, and I think that's a big factor, too. And I, we may have talked about this before, but I think your employees are on board also. They are. I, I mean, they're, they're really part of it. And, and, and that makes a big difference. Well, let, let me give you an example of, of that. When we were um, last, or a couple years ago, when we were looking at ways to, to trim costs, um, and it's not a big number, but I think it's representative of where, what people were thinking about. Um, we were spending a, 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 a reasonable amount of money just on coffee. And someone came up with the idea that we do away with the service. And, um, and we went ahead and bought coffee pots for the offices, but then you know the coffee was brought in, rather than having a service come in, and and that saved thousands of dollars. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. It's, it's it, not millions, obviously. No, no. But I mean, in, in 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 your budget, I mean, that's all of that adds up, though. I think that those are the little things like that. If you bring them together collectively, you you it adds up to a lot of money in a year's time. And that and that's what's happened. Yeah. And you can't you you know it's not one person's. It's not three people. It's it's. It's, you know, it's every employee of the township kind of focused on that. And we, you know, obviously we, we talk through those ideas and take the best ones and, and make, make sense, take the ones that make sense. It's so. working. It's, it's working. working. We've only got a few minutes left, so I don't want to sure. miss talking about the Tree City and also the sheriff, uh, 
shares the night number system. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, just to let people know, um, uh, Anderson Township's a Tree City USA designation for four years in a row. Uh, that's, we're very proud of that, and there's some legwork uh, with a couple with a committee that's involved with that. So I, th I want to thank them for that. Um, the final item I'd like to talk about is the Sheriff's Department. Uh, they'll be contacting local businesses here to update their annual night number system, and what that is is uh, you know the the deputies come by and they talk with each business business owner, business operator, to be sure they have a phone number and a name and a contact in case something, there's an incident or an issue with their business after hours. Well, one extra item that they're going to be talking with their business owners this year is if they have a, a video surveillance system. And what we're, the reason we're doing that is, you know, so that if there is an incident, maybe not perhaps at their business, but in a local, another local business, and if that video surveillance system is operating properly, that the, the sheriff department may be able to get some useful information to help um, help solve an incident there so um, you know if you're a business operator um, you know when you kind of be be you know be ready for that when the uh, when when the deputy comes by and, and goes through their their annual survey so and I think that'll help help bring some safety measure safety to the area. well and you see that happening all over the country where the, those kind of cameras uh, that people have outside of their uh, facility outside of their businesses especially have been played a big role in being able to uh, identify uh, someone who's created a crime mm -hmm. uh, and, and help lead to, to their their capture. So those can be extremely, extremely beneficial. Well, it's I, I agree. Obviously, we've seen that, and and that's just one way. You know, here in Anderson, we're going to try to make our community just as safe as we possibly can. You're doing a good job, Kevin. I, you, I mean, and, and, and you're a busy guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you really are. Well, we managed, to, and, 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 and unfortunately, we're out of time. Okay. But it's been great. We Dick's, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's always, always a, a pleasure. Point. Yeah, always a good pleasure talk to talking you. with you and, and learning more about what's going on in, uh, in Anderson Township. So uh, thank you for. Look forward to seeing you on the next one and, and um, find out more that's going on. I'll be pl be be a pleasure to be here. Thank It'll you. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We thank you very much for joining us uh, on this trusty talk, making us part of your day. We do hope that the rest of your day is pleasant and productive. Uh, I'm Dick Murgatroyd, and on behalf of our producer, Nikki Bishop, and our director, Andy Crozier, we do invite you to join us once again for Trustee Talk on our next edition here on ACTV. Until then, make it a great day. Thank you. <laughs>